so what I'm doing today is I am changing out my water pump that I wanted to show you what I'm doing. So this is a Stewart water pump right there. This is an OEM water pump. Um, there was, uh, you know, only minor seeping out of this pump. And it actually probably could have gone off for a lot longer. Um, but if you look in there, there's a little bit of water has gotten through the inner seal. But normally, I wouldn't replace it because uh, it's not failed. But it's been 14 years and I decided to go with this updated design. Uh, this is a Stewart EMP water pump. And uh, it's a high performance water pump. Uh, supposedly, from what I've read, is about 27, 20 to 27 percent more efficient design of the impellers. And it only like, takes two and a half, three horsepower to move the water. And what I'm trying to get rid of on this car is parasitic drag. So if I can free up horsepower, I think we're going to do it. So let me show you now what I've already gotten done. Okay, so I have the pump out. You can see. And now I'm going to take a wire wheel. I have one over here. Um, I'm going to clean the inside of that out. And then I'll stick the pump in there. And then we'll torque it all down. But um, down the bottom corner, right down here, see right in there. That's the uh, where you get drain it. And it takes a 7 millimeter hex drive or Allen key to uh, get it undone. And then I'm also changing out the, um, the thermostat while I'm here and I'm putting on a new, uh, this, um, what is this, a uh, radiator cap. So I'm gonna flush it all out while I have that one part out. So um, I'm really anxious to see if that frees up a little bit of horsepower, gives me a little bit better acceleration. Uh, I'm trying to get rid of the parasitic drain. Also, I'm here, there's the new pulley that I put in in the last video. Um, yeah, it didn't change anything. Uh, it didn't get me any more horsepower, really, that I could feel. It didn't get better gas mileage, either. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and put button this all up, put it together, and then I'll show you some of what you got to do to do that. So, let's go. Okay, so see, I already had the power steering, the um, water pump out of here. And I'm gonna get, I got a wire wheel with a angle on it. So I can't really see, I can see most of it. But you wanna get that surface clean, give the seal a fresh place to uh, bite onto. Okay, so I've got the pump back in, got that all cleaned up. Um, also what I did is I took a little bit of the water off around the uh, power the pump housing and went down the seal help it go in um, then you want to tighten this down star pattern and then uh, I'm gonna get my torque wrench here and it's um, 18 foot pounds is the torque spec for this. Probably went a little bit over, but it's good to check it. Then you, uh, oh yeah, look at the housing on this thing. It's beefy as all hell. So then you put the pulley on, line that up like that. Like that, we'll get the bolts. Like a soul.
And then uh, to final, do the final torque tightening on that. Comes off the pulley, goes around the top, down around the power steering pump, then over and across and down. See how, now I have to get in there and loosen this. Leverage. That's what I need right now. Okay. I just like making sure that these pulleys are all set up in the right wear marks and such. Now that that's on there, we're going to go through here. So. Check the torque specs on those. I think they said those were 15 PSI or 15 foot pounds. So we'll back this off. So there you go, it's all installed and uh, ready to go. Now we just gotta pop off the cooler. Yeah, oh, so here's the thermostat. I, I changed that out too. I always get the one with this little tiny bleeder. It makes it a lot easier to get the air out of that. Um, I'm also going with a little bit cooler um, thermostat. Um, I'm going to put on a 180, 180 PS, the, the thermostat will open at 130, 180 degrees instead of 190. I live in a desert and I kind of want it to uh, work. So put this in here, this part right here, see right there, that part right there. That goes down into the housing like that and then this goes in there, the seal, and then that goes like that. And these go in there. Too crazy as it is aluminum. So that's it. Now we put in coolant. All right, so now it's all cleaned up, feel much better. And now we'll just see this is pre mix 50 50. So we're just gonna We ain't dripping any of it out.
you just need to get all the air out. Okay, so I just got done with the test drive. Um, seems to be right, uh, running a lot quieter. Uh, and it, I don't know if I can, I didn't really notice any more power or anything. Um, but it's running, it never, this car never ran hot. It's never run hot. Um, I put in a 180 degree thermostat that I bought from ADTR.net. Um, this is the pump that I bought right here. It uh, says Ford 4.6 high performance water pump. And I bought this from ADTR.net as well. Um, you just got to know if it needs a uh, long or a short. What is it? Long style or short style? This one's short style because it's uh, after. Uh, it's after 2001. Um, these are actually built for Mustangs, Mustang GTs. Um, well, let's see what I'm gonna, I'm gonna take in a couple drives, see if I get better gas mileage, see if I notice any difference. I didn't notice any difference from the water, the power steering pump fully, but um, I'm all done with the project. Time to move on to the next one.